well, we, we constantly look to invest in leaders or emerging leaders in different industries and uh, you know, people talk about the, the technology sector but in reality there's technology embedded in every business and in every um, in, in every industry and it's about buying those those businesses that can see um, that they need to stay ahead of the curve in, in terms of their products, the technology that they use to service their customers. Um, there's a whole host of things that the companies need to ensure that they're ahead of their competitors uh, to, in, to ensure that they gain market share and grow, grow quickly uh, uh, over the long term. Uh, a number of companies that we own that fit within that basket, I would say, would be uh, Siemens, for instance, where, where they're a leader um, in, in automation software products. Uh, we own NASDAQ, which I think is a leader in, in in technology in the exchanges space. Um, so if you look at NASDAQ, they actually sell their te technology to over 50 exchanges around the world, uh, including the ASX, and they sell software like surveillance software to the ASX. Um, they're one of, one of the leaders in blockchain and, and looking at implementing that um, to exchanges. So, um, you know, th those are some examples of businesses where, where we feel that they are ahead of their competitors and, and really uh, ensure that they stay ahead of the curve um, and, and that is benefiting their earnings and, and revenue growth. It's hard to know and they don't like to open up uh, in terms of showing you where exactly they are compared to their competitors um, just for competitive reasons. But uh, you do get a sense by just talking to pe people outside of those businesses know who really is um, at the forefront of, of that sort of technology um, so so we do a lot of independent calls and we talk to a lot of companies that aren't listed uh, you know also customers of, of those businesses to to get a gauge as to which business is actually at the forefront um, and, and you know when, when we look at sort of companies like Siemens if, they, if they've got 90% market share in you know a particular software for um, for factories and it's pretty clear who, who, the, who the leader is and who's at the forefront, who can afford to keep reinvesting more money in research and development to ensure that they, they maintain that market position.